Now it's safe to say that this is the part of the video that most people have been waiting for, which is gonna be cost considerations when it comes to extending your interior living to the outdoors. So let's get to it. So to make it easy, I wanna go through the stages of the most cost effective to probably the more costly options that are available for these outdoor entertaining spaces. The first and the most cost conscious of all of the solutions is gonna be uncovered patio space. And the main reason for that is it's going to entail either a slab, paver, or natural stone patio, which inherently has a lot less construction material involved. At that point, you're hiring either a concrete company or a paving company to be able to come and extend that patio into either the front or the backyard spaces that you enjoy the most. So the second most common and additionally, the second most cost effective solution is gonna be attached covered spaces that reside throughout the residence. The main reason for the additional cost associated is that there's typically a structure involved as well as a base such as a slab, paver or natural stone finish for the patio space beneath that specific covered space. So one of the main reasons that this is the most cost effective solution for covered patio space is because it's already integrated into the structural components of the home, whether that be the trusses, the second story floor plan above it, or integrated as an extension of the home. Regardless, this is gonna be common building materials that are being used to be able to produce this product, whether that be lumber or CMU, or some of the other finishes that might be utilized in some other construction located throughout the country. Regardless, this is gonna be one of the most cost-effective ways to be able to get covered patio space, and it also helps with the overall feel and elevation of the home. So the third most cost-effective solution is really a toss-up, and it's dependent on the options that you're selecting. Now, we have two categories left, which are detached cover structures, as well as second-story terraces that are specifically located in this house that we're standing out now. So the cost associated with the various solutions for detached cover structures is going to vary greatly. You can go from anything from a purchase off of Amazon or at Costco for an outdoor awning or an outdoor gazebo or pergola structure that will provide for additional shade and entertaining that simply bolts to the ground or to the substrate that's located beneath it. And this is probably gonna be the most cost effective when it comes to exterior detached covered structures. So when we move up the pricing scale, specifically in luxury development, oftentimes you're gonna have a detached covered space that acts as a gazebo or an extension of the architectural significance of the house. In doing so, usually you're gonna be integrating things like bringing electrical, potentially plumbing to that area for outdoor kitchen and entertaining such as a TV that will be located in the exterior features of the home to be able to extend specifically a pool area here in Phoenix or in other locations throughout the nation. As you might be thinking, this could become more of a costly piece depending on what you wanna integrate into that package. So as we move away from our covered detached structures, let's talk about second story terraces. Now this is gonna come into two categories, which is gonna be a covered terrace or a balcony, like the one that we're sitting on now, which will be the most cost effective. We have a bit of lumber or some extension of the trusses, which really overall in this particular instance helps to create the form of what the elevation actually looks like. In addition to that, mostly it's gonna be standard building materials, in this case stucco, with a textured spray roof application that will allow this space to have a durable finish for those that will be residing on this patio. One of the main reasons that a covered terrace is more cost effective than an uncovered terrace is gonna be the amount of water that it actually captures. In this specific application, we're able to adhere to the code guidelines that allow for simple drainage of maybe a two or a three inch drain without an overflow because the amount of water that a covered terrace captures is very minimal in comparison to what we have on an uncovered terrace as we'll illustrate here in a few seconds. So a lot of you might be thinking, why are uncovered spaces more costly? Well, typically they're larger and there's more components that are necessary to make them all come together with the proper design aesthetic and functionality required. The first and probably one of the more costly components is gonna be an overflow roof drain system that's gonna have components not only from the drainage aspect on the top of the patio, but ABS from your plumber that's gonna run to an discussion or scupper that resides at the base of the home if done right. Obviously there's other solutions to outdoor terraces such as scuppers, but many times I find these as unsightly when it comes to matching the overall design aesthetic or architectural aesthetic of the home. In addition to that, you're typically gonna have some sort of railing system which is gonna be either a decorative metal or a glass. And lastly, figuring out what to do with the deck structure is gonna be key. Now, in our base option here, we're gonna be doing the same application with a textured spray-on. However, as an upgraded option, they have an amazing pedestal tile or wood decking solution that actually allows you to be able to raise 
your decking so it's completely flush, covers any of the unsightly items that have to deal with drainage, and provide an architecturally significant patio that will stand the test of time and help with energy efficiency with the spaces below. Why this product can become costly and is one of the things that's often nixed from the overall design package, the reality is if done right, it will make a huge difference in the functionality and the overall finished result of this uncovered outdoor terrace. So if there's any additional construction related topics or content that you'd like to see, hit us in the DM below. And as always, have a great day.